This is a poem called Spark. Lids blink. Celestial orbs and icy lashes, both the color of Vanta black. The phantom's back, though some may call it the spark that travels through everybody. Home to home, soul to soul, bone to bone. It shows up when we need it the most, like an unspoken language that is somehow flooded with disconnected alphabets. It enters our soul and lifts us up, giving us reason, showing us purpose. Now y'all might not know this, but the truth is in the power. The power that keeps our lives kept together, even when it seems like the glue is dried out and there's no motivation to pour yourself a glass of water, limbs limp and no joy of feeling like you're going farther. It's a stuck feeling, dangerous and repetitive. I know too well the negativity that settles rent-free in the brain, the pain from knuckles that crack and bleed against sleepless nights and peeling wallpaper. In reality, my heart is more shattered than Chernobyl windows. But my personality, that's where it really starts to come in handy, for it has more depth than the rings on a bristlecone pine tree. It helps me find my spark within the art of poetry, made me see that it's a dream I can reach, one that I can extend my hand to and feel the words flow into my fingertips, painting my fingerprints with silky words and controversial lyrics. Now, ever since I was a released egg, I've been set up for failure, an immigrant dad and a maternal gangbanger. My vibrating vocal cords were sliced with colored cards in elementary, children being muted alongside their ideas, starting at a young age to constrict our abilities. A silent child grows into a cooperative adult, a puppet of the power system. But puppet strings look a lot like chains when they're up close and personal. Chains like the ones they keep draped on the back of our necks, adding another layer each time we attempt to succeed. We live in a nation built on more torment than we like to believe, definitely more than the amount of masks on in this community. And if only they knew how uneven we breathe when we turn on the TV, the fear that eats us faster than Ross Mussolini, cause while some of us go from straight jackets to suede jackets, I'm stuck replaying the image of my homegirl's casket. Those sparks that I was speaking on, they give us legs up to win, but sometimes you gotta suffer with death before you live again. The youth are constantly battling from being so exposed to hatred. I know that if I dodge the bullet, it'll fly and hit the next kid. But my one goal in this moment in time is to educate and stimulate the brain of whoever will listen. Because then there will at least be hope in this generation.